Well, is there any way to break this bad weather cycle? It's like, it's just weather. It's like constant storms and rain. It is, and we're just stuck in this stagnant pattern right through Thursday. Mm. So the way you break a weather pattern like this is with a strong storm or a strong oh, right. cold front, and oh, we will eventually get that. It'll sweep it all out to sea Thursday night into Friday. But until then, we're stuck. Yeah. Oh, we're stuck in this, uh, in this quagmire <laughs> of a weather pattern, and it is not looking great out there this evening north and west. Now, right now, we've actually got some pretty quiet conditions around the city and Point South, even some sun. Sunshine, but it's warm, it's steamy, and there's a ton of fuel for the storms that are trying to develop. Let's take a look outside right now at one spot that's seen a lot of rain and more rain coming down heavily in Bethlehem right now. You can see on our camera there from the Hotel Bethlehem, it is pouring as we speak right now along Main Street. Some slowdowns on area roadways, ponding and flooding on the roads, even some flash flood warnings up across portions of the Lehigh Valley this afternoon. Further south, and there's a lot of energy available, what we call CAPE or convective available potential energy. Basically, the conditions are ripe for thunderstorms to develop in this area where they've issued a severe thunderstorm watch. That's that pink box you see, similar to where it was yesterday. The problem is we have what's called a cap on the atmosphere. It's kind of think of it as like the lid on a pot. And eventually, if that pot boils over, then you are going to see that lid start to start to come off. But it's a layer of warm air in the mid levels of the atmosphere that the storms just can't break past. Now, eventually, if they develop strongly enough, you develop strong enough updrafts, they may break through. And once they do, that's what we're concerned about here later this evening, this afternoon and evening, that these storms are going to break through and start to become severe, especially across portions of Delaware, South Jersey, and again, the southeastern corner of the state of Pennsylvania, including the city here. Right now, though, across the region, we are seeing some sun. So, of course, that adds to the threat for severe weather, more instability thanks to the sun and the heating of the surface. Further to the north, we've got heavy rainfall. Nothing severe right now, but pockets of heavy downpours right along I-95 and the Turnpike here into Mercer County right along Bordentown as well. Further to the north and west, more heavy rain in the Lehigh Valley right around Allentown. A slow ride home there right along 476, along 22 and 78. And that continues, of course, into Northampton County. And the reason we're dealing with this is there's a stalled front off to the west. Nothing is really moving in the weather pattern. Everything is stagnant. So we're just dealing with these days upon days of storms. Now, eventually on Thursday, that's when the strong cold front comes through. Thursday also looks to be our greatest risk for severe weather and potentially even an isolated tornado thanks to the front coming through. And that says a lot because we have severe threats every day this week. So heavy storms to the north here this afternoon. If something pops to the south, it may be severe. They will be very isolated, but got to keep a close eye for those storms to develop. You can see a few trying to come through Delaware late tonight. Tomorrow, once again in the afternoon, Heavy storms develop, especially at around 4 p.m. So the greatest risk this evening and tonight, and again tomorrow, heavy rain, a moderate risk for wind, lightning, and hail. And there is enough wind shear out there that you can't rule out an isolated tornado with any storm that does form, especially if it's one of those discrete cells that pops up out of nowhere and starts to get a little rotation going. So tomorrow's another day like today. Here's the good news. We start summer on Friday at 11.54 a.m., and right about that time is when the sun will be coming out. Temperatures are cooler. Humidity is lower. Friday 79, a beautiful afternoon. Our Summerfest street continues. And you can't ask for much better weather for the first weekend of summer than low to mid 80s and lots of sunshine both Saturday and Sunday. Mm -hmm. So it is a trade off. But the good stuff comes for the weekend. Yes. Okay, well, I'll take that. Yes. Temporary Thank inconvenience, you. permanent improvement, my dad always says. Oh, very yes. nice. I don't know about permanent, but we'll say <laughs> just improvement. Permanent significant enough. Significant yes. improvement. There you go. I like it. Okay. Thanks so much, Kate.